Daily Broadside, day 345. Dear Woody Harrelson, thank you. Thank you for stoking the fire and pissing off all the people that would need to be. And the fact that they're mad tells me everything that I need to know. You know, that was that was great. Uh, that was that was great to hear last weekend. Uh, it's funny. Uh, there was a video I saw yesterday or sometime in the last day or so whereby a employee of like a McDonald's or a Wendy's or something was videoed working barefoot behind the counter. And I was like, okay. You know, that doesn't really bother me. Or, you know, I don't know the situation by which she became barefoot, you know. Uh, that that probably is a bigger question. You know, did her Crocs get wet? Did she, I, she got a bunion? I don't, I don't know what's going on. But my, but really, like, as long as her feet don't touch the food preparation area, the table, the counter, the whatever, who cares? Because the surface of your foot being dirty and the surface of a rubber sole of a shoe being dirty, as long as they don't come in contact with the food we're ordering, What's the difference, really? You know, I, I'm not endorsing that we all just cook barefoot, you know, because you're going to burn your feet at some point. But uh, who cares, really? And what is up with old men? Like, and I'm talking about, like, men that were born in, like, the, uh, let's say, uh, let's just say baby boomers and older, right? Uh, uh, maybe a little bit older than baby boomers, you know, people that are born in, like, the, the 30s, okay? Why do they dress? Like, they've been retired for 20 years, right? And they still dress. I was in a restaurant yesterday. I watched this, this these two dudes come in for lunch. And, w and they're both, like, dressed to the nines in their sense. They got the, the members-only jacket, the button-down shirt, the khaki pants, the tucked-in shirt, the belt, the, like, dress shoes, I guess you call it. I don't know what you call them. They're wearing, like, the ivy, like, newsboy-looking weird flat cap thing. And it's like, dude chill you ain't got a job to go to put some sweatpants and a tank top on you know i i don't understand why that would be comfortable you know whether it's you know tucking your your collared shirt into jorts um and and always wearing a belt like why do you what 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 processes did you go through in life that that whole generation feels like they have to dress up everywhere they go i don't understand it they don't even own jeans it's it's very strange i also saw a video of a girl who was uh promoting a three-month um like, uh, hey, don't don't kiss on the first date. Don't kiss for the first three months. Don't do anything physical. Let's see how things go. And to that, I say, enjoy your cats, lady. I watched a video last night of a Comic-Con type thing where they got all these booths set up. And it was like the mom from E.T., the, the two boys from E.T., Ogre and Booger. Ogre? Yeah, Ogre, I think, and Booger from... Um, Revenge of the Nerds, and then the main nerd, right? The 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 leader of the nerds. And they're all at tables, you know, signing autographs and all this crap. And I was like, golly. And some of these people, for example, the E.T. cast, right? I mean, other than Drew Barrymore going somewhere, which is still inexplicable. Uh, hell, of a, hell of a talent we got there. But, like, the brother, like the older brother, okay? Uh, should have invested in a dentist a long time ago. It's probably why his acting career at Nowhere, because his teeth look like a cemetery, but he's sitting there and it's like, why would I want a, an autograph from a dude who did like four, he did like four movies, I think, you know? And then Henry Thomas did like a couple, he was in like Gangs of New York and like one or two things. He was in Legends of the Fall. He was one of the brothers in Legends of the Fall, I think, uh, like the square one. But really he did nothing. Like, why would I, what would I do with this, you know, this, this signature that I got from these people. And then, and then you branch in. It's just, it's a, it's a very sad existence. And I don't know what these people make for showing up at these things, but if you were only in four movies and you basically just got out of acting for all those years, why are you going to come back now? Uh, you know, you, you obviously did something to support yourself all these years. Why do you need the money now? I, it's, it's a strange existence. And then you branch into like the cosplay type crap. That just blows my mind. Like, I imagine that it would be somewhat satisfying if you were into anime or all these weird horror movies and all this crap to like go to your garage and build an outfit, right? Like you've gotten like glue and balsa wood and you're just got this big craft project going on. But then you got to walk around. Like I saw a chick yesterday and she was, uh, I think it's Samantha, the chick from The Ring across out of TV. She made a TV, right? They're on wheels. And then she crawls through it. And it was pretty well done for something that she just obviously made in her kitchen. But, like, you've got to get that thing to the Coliseum. And then 
ride around in like a TV all day. And then how many times are you going to crawl out of that and make everybody go, Ooh, wow. And then get back in the TV and somebody's got to push you around. It just boggles my mind that that's a thing. Um, but Hey, whatever makes you happy in life, I guess if that's, uh, if that's what makes you happy and doesn't harm other people, I'm all for it. That's just really weird.